So let's check out the bathroom here. And we'll see, maybe this is the worst bathroom in Guatemala. We are definitely the tallest people here by about two to three feet. And it does not help that I'm walking around here filming myself with a camera. We're gonna climb a volcano. Look at this thing. Pretty awful. And looky here, this right here is an active volcano. And I can tell you, this is an experience you're never gonna find in the United States. Join us for this week's adventures in Guatemala. Wow, this is cool. We're finally into the Guatemalan mountains. We have found the coolness in Central America, specifically Guatemala. We are at, my altimeter here is saying over 4,000 feet. It is 70 degrees. We're in a cloud forest. It's beautiful. This feels so good. We just found the craziest market in Guatemala. We just drove through it, which was kind of crazy in its own right, but we're getting ready to walk back into it and go check it out. Well, we're here at this small village in Guatemala and we're walking through their Saturday market. And I can tell you, this is an experience you're never gonna find in the United States. We are definitely the tallest people here by about two to three feet. And everybody stares at you because of it. And it does not help that I'm walking around here filming myself with a camera. The people were really friendly and outgoing and uh, curious about us. We stood out like a sore thumb. Back at the market, we got a bunch of bananas. I swear the bananas here taste better than they do in the States. It's like, I don't know, they're just fresher, more closer to the source or what it is. A cool tree. I just want to camp up here. This is just beautiful. The only thing is, we're kind of in a little bit of a no man's land as far as where camps are located from the iOverlander app that we use. That can mean a couple of things, but sometimes it means that it's just not a real safe, happy place where tourism is really encouraged. So we're gonna go down to another town and we're gonna camp down there. But anyway, we're happy as anything to be up here in the cloud forest, 69 degrees right now. We haven't seen 69 degrees in maybe three, four weeks. So this feels so good. I find the road gives you exactly what you need. And today we needed to find some cool temperatures. And that is exactly what we found up here. We've climbed up to over 4,000 feet. We're seeing coffee plantations, wineries, and this beautiful forest with pines and all sorts of hardwood trees. It feels good. We can actually breathe. It has been hot for about three weeks. And we were in the hot zone from pretty much um, Chiapas on. And now we've reached the mountains of Guatemala. So we've got a full battery and we don't have to worry about using most of it for our air conditioner tonight. So we're gonna just enjoy our evening here in the cloud forest. Good morning, Guatemala. So we're about to push off now from Coban, Guatemala, and we're headed to the next destination south which I'm really excited for. Everyone talks about it as being a great place. We're about to go check it out. You should come with us. Let's do this. So we're driving through this crazy little village that's kind of a shortcut to Antigua. And all of a sudden the road turns to gravel, then it turns to dirt, then it's turned back to pavement here, and now it's going back to dirt again. 
I hope this road goes through. This looked like a pretty major road on the map, but it is a, a weird little one lane road here. Look at this. The pavement ends and it turns into this rocky, dusty dirt road. And now we've gone through about three sections of that and it is pretty rough, but we're making progress still. The road is getting more chewed up, more rocky, more rough. And we're starting to realize maybe this is why Google didn't send us this way to get to Antigua. So we're gonna carry on, see what happens. A 38 foot chicken bus just came through so I think if they can make it we should be fine but it is really bumpy we are not in four-wheel drive um, but it is just very rocky rutted chewed up um, but I think this is the road this is the way all the locals go and this is just how it is the route that we're on was supposed to take five hours we left at nine, it's now 1.15, and we still have three hours to go. I hope we get there before dark. So we feel like we're on this really remote, in the middle of nowhere road, and then we come around the corner and there's like a convenience store, like a big pink one with like two stories. And it's like clear that it's a, this is, this is a place that a lot of people come. This is just a normal road through here. It just happens to be a dirt road. It's unimproved. Um, I can't even tell that they've plowed it. So I don't know. Hopefully we get a little further and we'll come around the corner and we'll be on a nicer paved road and we can get back to making better time to get to Antigua. But this is part of the adventure. And you know, up until this point, I would said, you could do the Pan American that we've done in kind of any kind of sedan. You know, you didn't need anything special. You don't even need really off-road tires with the exception of what we did in Baja. But this right here is proving that you probably want a little more than that. Hey, Jorge, how you feel about some pavement? That'd be great. <laughs> All right, we made it. We're back to the pavement. It feels good. There's any silverware still in my drawers. I'll be surprised. <laughs> so that was a, that was quite a push there through some pretty terrible dirt roads, but we made it through and we are on our way to Antigua. <laughs> chicken bus all right we are just north of Guatemala City but we are in the outskirts of Guatemala City and it feels very much like a large congested busy city and on top of that it's Palm Sunday that is a very big religious day down here with most of the population being Catholic and there's lots of people out and stuff going on Hopefully it's smooth sailing from here. Better knock on wood, buddy. <laughs> All right, we're parked. We're in Antigua. 
We probably made a mistake rolling in here on Palm Sunday because this is a very sacred day, sacred week leading up to Easter. There are so many people down here for Palm Sunday, it's incredible. We pulled into the camp where we're gonna park. It is full of cars and luckily they could squeeze us in. It is tight, there's not a lot of parking here, but this is definitely on the Overlander tick list because there are a lot of different rigs from Europe, from South America and Central America. But I think our first priority right now is getting some dinner. We're starving, we've been driving all day. What was supposed to be a five hour drive took us almost eight hours. So we're gonna go into town and get something to eat before it gets too late. This seems so touristy of us, but there's a place called Pappy's Barbecue. And it's supposedly Texas barbecue here in Guatemala. I don't know if we're homesick or what, but I think we need to go check it out. Kathy has been trying to find a hamburger for about two months now. And when you order a hamburger south of the border, it's actually ham. It's been very disappointing. So it's kind of more like a sausage burger than a traditional, what we think of as a hamburger. Um, it has this just funky taste, like everything about it looks perfect. But when you first bite into it, you're like, mm, something's not right. But this place down here, this Pappy's Barbecue, supposedly has really good hamburgers. They get good reviews online and it sounds like they might have the real thing. So we're gonna go check it out. All right, the streets of Antigua are full of worshipers and there's people walking around in these bright purple robes, I guess for Lent. Hopefully we can find this Pappy's Barbecue in honor of someone that we know named Pappy who actually makes barbecue. I think the Pappy that we know maybe is holding back and he has a barbecue restaurant down here that he's never told us about. But we're gonna go check it out. Maybe we'll see him there. And right outside there is a parade where they're doing the Stations of the Cross for Palm Sunday. There's a street that is filled with beautiful flowers. It's like a mosaic made out of flowers on the street. It's really interesting. Alright, dinner was awesome. It was the closest thing to a Texas barbecue joint that you can find in Central America. We're heading back to the camp. I'm gonna call it a night. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, Antigua. We are off to breakfast. It's a beautiful morning here. We're getting fresh bread here, banana bread, muffins. I am about 12 hours into Antigua. And I gotta tell you, this is one of the coolest cities we've been to.
soccer shoes. All right, we've had a wonderful time here in Antigua. It has been a wonderful escape from the heat, but we're gonna take this concept of going higher to be somewhere cooler. And this is not only gonna mean temperatures, this is gonna mean cool. We're headed up to climb the volcano of Acatenango, and we're gonna go up there and we're gonna camp on one volcano overlooking a second volcano, and we're gonna be able to watch it erupt. But the mountains are calling and we must go. made it up to the base of the volcano, to the campground that we're gonna be staying at, and our revels almost didn't fit in here. It was tight with trees, with gates, with overhanging limbs, but we're up here and this place is so pretty. The volcano is right there. It is about 68 degrees up here, and that's probably gonna be the high. We've got some really nice weather here on the flanks of the volcano. I am doing my all-time favorite thing. I am packing for an overnight expedition into the wilderness. We're gonna climb a volcano. We're gonna spend the night halfway up the volcano. We're gonna watch it erupt. So it's mandatory to have a guide with you on this particular backpack trip. They're gonna provide food and water and we are bringing everything else. So we are gonna be looking at an erupting volcano off of a dormant volcano. And tomorrow we're gonna to watch the sunrise off of the third highest peak in Guatemala. So let's do this thing. All right, so far this is beautiful. We're just walking through this forest on a really nicely maintained trail. All right, we got our bags up here to the restaurant. I'll be ready to shed about 30 pounds here. <sighs> All right, our bags are going on. This cowboy is gonna take them up. And this little colt here is in training. It's learning how to walk up the volcano. So it's going along without a load. So far, the trail has been pretty straight up. We're going through some cornfields here. Very dusty and just loose volcanic rocks. Look at this thing. Pretty awful. All right, we made it out of the dusty trench. Now we're on the dusty trail. When I say dusty, every time somebody passes you, a cloud of dust comes up behind them. I mean, I'm creating one too. And it's almost hard to breathe. I think if I knew what I knew now, I would bring one of those buffs that would cover my nose and mouth and just use it as a little dust filter. Um, I've got one in the van. But I didn't bring it. There's a lot of these stairs going up. Some of them are knee high. Big steps. Wow, those are quad burners. You get my legs back in shape. This is the flower from the Canuck tree. This is a chicken feet or jaguar hand flower. And it is used for medicine, for the stomach, or for the eyes in traditional medicine. 
or chicken feet. All right, I am inside of the Canuck tree. Wow, look at this thing. Inside of it. Look at that, it's hollow all the way up. And the tree just lives on the outside of the trunk. Well, we've hiked now to the entrance of the national park and we are passing people who are going down, who climbed yesterday. And I gotta tell you, you know, I've done a lot of hiking, crowded places, Zion, Yosemite, are the two that come to mind, but even Grand Canyon, and in Europe. This trail is super crowded and very dusty with this volcanic soil. Well, it's a relief. We've seemingly passed many of the groups that are going down and the air is much cleaner. There's much less dust and less congestion, but it's a much nicer hike now without all the congestion and really the dust was the big thing. Well, we're not quite halfway, but Christian said we're getting there. And this is one of the many um, little places where you can stop and sit on a bench and catch your breath for a minute. So let's check out the bathroom here. In one of my previous videos, I had the worst bathroom in Mexico. And we'll see, maybe this is the worst bathroom in Guatemala. Ooh, we still don't put our paper in the toilet, but you put it on the floor. Yeah, this is pretty bad. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below if you think this is the worst bathroom in Guatemala. All right, we are starting to see clouds blowing through the trees. This means we're getting into the cloud forest. This is the halfway point and this is lunch for most people. We're gonna opt to keep going a little further. We're just gonna take a little breather here and then keep walking. Right about now, I am regretting the last hundred tacos that I ate. I feel <laughs> like I should have been hiking more and eating tacos less. Nonetheless, we are making it up the mountain. We are at 12,000 feet and it's about the same to our camp, but we have to traverse about a quarter of the way around the mountain and we'll go gradually up and gradually down, but we'll end up at 12,000 feet and we're ready, ready to be at camp. Sounds really good. All right, we are pulling into our camp right now. It feels so good. My legs are pretty shot, but um, this is a beautiful spot the perfect view of the volcano. Well, we've made it. We're here at our base camp, and looky here. This right here is an active volcano. It is erupting. We've seen it erupt a few times now, and we are so excited to be here tonight and not only see the eruptions in the daytime, but I think they're going to be the most spectacular in the dark.
right? It's a windy, cloudy, cold morning, but we're up watching the volcano erupt between when the clouds blow in and out. Right now the clouds are in and you can't even see the volcano at all. You can hear it rumble as it erupts, but the few times you do get to see it, it's really powerful. Well, Antigua, Guatemala has been one of our favorite stops. And I know we keep saying that because it seems like everywhere we go is our favorite stop, but this is a really great place. And um, it has all the beauty of these Latin American cities, but you also have the outdoor adventure of coming up here to check out this volcano. It was almost a five mile hike to get here to the base camp. The hike was hard, I'm not gonna lie. It was super steep the whole entire way. But um, our guide Christian uh, set a really good pace for us and it was a really great experience. And when we got to base camp, there are all kinds of little cabins. We brought our own tent because we just like to sleep in the tent. And that was a great experience too. And then the guys here cooked us a great dinner, a great breakfast, set up a campfire. I woke up and there was a fire this morning at four in the morning, which was great. Perfect for watching uh, the volcano erupt. So that was definitely worth the slog to get up here. So if you are ever in Guatemala, I highly recommend coming up and checking out the Volcan de Acatenango. I want to give a huge shout out to Therese Diando and our guide Christian. These guys have been amazing. They got us up here and they've just shown us a really good time and we're really grateful. I'll put a link down below of where you can find them. If you guys find yourself in Antigua, definitely look them up to come up here and check out the volcano. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really does make a difference. It really helps our channel grow. I'd also like to invite you to join our Patreon. Our Patreons are going to get a closer insider's look into what we do. And you're also going to have access to our field guides, which are going to help you plan your next big adventure. So that's it from Antigua, Guatemala, and on the flanks of the Volcan Acatenango. I want to thank you for watching this video, and I hope I see you somewhere over the horizon. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time.